It's day two of this 10 part series on problem solving with models and manipulatives. And today we're continuing the conversation with fractions. This is a really good problem today. I love it because it's a two parter. It looks pretty overwhelming when you first read it, but models and manipulatives make it so simple to understand. We're going to begin with these concrete fraction tiles. This red piece represents Seth's earnings. We know that he put half of it into savings, so we'll show that with the pink rectangle. And now we need to figure out one fourth of the remainder, so we're going to show that. And that piece right there will represent how much the drink cost at the store. Obviously, I moved really fast here. You're not gonna do that with your students. This is a great opportunity to also discuss how one fourth of that remaining money relates to one eighth of the total. Okay, let's take a look at how we can solve this with a bar model, which directly relates to the concrete example we just looked at. We are going to split the bar into halves, one half is savings, one half is remaining. Now, here's the interesting part. We're going to take that one half that's remaining and that is going to become our new unit, our new whole. Now we're going to take that remainder and split it into four pieces because we know that he spent one fourth of the remaining money on his drink at the store. Something I forgot to do here at the beginning was mark $20 on each half, that should have been done earlier. So now we know that $20 is being split into fourths. We know that each one of those one fourth pieces will be $5, so we will label that. And now it is easily clear that he spent $5 on his drink at the store. There are so many opportunities for solving fraction problems with bar models and manipulatives. This is just one example of how you might do this in your class.